We're in a wheat field. Uh, the wheat field is 13S26. Very unique. It's a new release as far as he having fusarium headlight resistance. A lot of people know that to be its head scap. All right. Um, one thing to say is, is that it doesn't right now take the place of Prasar Karumba to give us protection against head scap. But what it's doing is giving us protection in the grain. So we, we don't have that mycotoxin dawn infecting our grain, which is going to cause poor milling quality, lighter buck weights, and, uh, and it'll hurt our yields as well in that. So we're looking at a new variety here. It's going to be released for our customers. A lot of other companies have the same type of uh, genetic resistance. We still breed for yield, for test weight. We're also now breeding for protection against issues like head scab and that. Um, you know, a lot of people say they quit raising wheat because they can't make any money. Um, I disagree. Uh, wheat, just like corn and soybeans, we've got to manage our inputs so that we can go ahead and take care of issues spend the money correctly in that. The farm I'm working on, I've worked with these people before last year, 280 acres of wheat. They averaged 105 bushel wheat to the acre and that. It fits in with their program, all right? So really today, just to show you a little bit where we're at, as you can see, our heads are out, all right? Um, the other thing to say is that uh, last week, the last 10 days, we noticed in a lot of our fields issues with leaf rust and stripe rust, which some people were able to go ahead and spray with a fungicide to control it. Yes, we could use Persara Corumba. It will control the rust in that. The problem was we were a week away from using Persaro. And so we had to go ahead and spray with uh, the fungicide because the bottom line here is to keep this flag healthy. By keeping the flag healthy, we're going to go ahead and help provide the nutrients of sunlight to support these higher yields than that. So right now, when we're looking at for head scab protection, you know, basically it's when the anthers start just to start to come out of the middle of that head. That's the right time to put it on. Right now it's too early. Uh, so, but I would say if we get some good growing days here, no rain, we could see this be ready here probably the first of the week in that. Um, a lot of people, when they see heads out like this, they say they're going to go spray for sorrow. It's too early. You're wasting your money in that. For head scab to occur, we're talking about three to four days continuous wet, rainy weather, a little bit humid conditions. All right? And you look in the forecast, we're looking this way into the mill next week in that. Hopefully, the heads start to have some anthers out there that we can get out here and put on for sorrow or corumba. At the same time we're putting on that, yes, it will help control leaf blotches that are in here, powdery mildew, and also if there's any escape of rust in that. So we know there's benefit out here. Uh, right now, this gentleman here, with two applications of nitrogen, a herbicide application here in the fall, we're going to be doing for sorrow on that. Our goal here is is trying to make that 100, 105 bushel wheat to the acre. Well, we're in another field here of, of wheat. It's another seed field. It's called 1325. 1325, same maturity as 1326. Difference is this doesn't have the fusarium headlight resistance gene. And as you could see here, a lot of this yellowing on the flag leaf in that, all right? This is basically leaf rust. And there was some stripe rust in here too in that. Last Saturday, we were, um, he w went in here and he sprayed this, just tried to hold this disease in check. It looked bad, but we still kept as much of the flag healthy as we can. Seeing a little bit more cereal leaf beetle in this field. They mentioned it before, but when we're going into and spraying Prasaro, at that time when those anthers start coming out of that head, it is recommended to go for an insecticide to give us protection against cereal leaf beetle. That beetle will start to suck out that green tissue out of those out of the flag leaf and the other leaves. All right, and the leaves are frosted appearance on that plant on those leaves. So the big thing about it is is trying to protect that flag again, just like what we're trying to do with Persaro protection against uh, head scab, as well as some of these other diseases. This field here has been sprayed with a tilt. Last Saturday, the 
cooperator, the Beiser family, uh, Andy Beiser and his sons, uh, Dan, David, and Doug pretty much worked with them. They do raise their seed wheat for us. They sprayed all their acres of seed wheat um, just to try to control this tilt. Because had we not taken care of the rust, I really believe we would have lost a lot more of the flag leaf area, hurting our yield, hurting qual and grain quality too, big time. As you can see one thing too, I mentioned before, here we have the anthers. They're starting to come out from the middle of the head. We're on the outside portion of the field. I don't know what the other field's like, but if 75 to 80% of our heads are like this, with the anthers coming out of the middle, now's the time to go ahead and apply the Prosaro. This is the right time to give us that protection against head scab. So, you know, a little bit more yellow in the field, but I don't worry about it now compared to last week. The field is a little bit healthier. The plant has, um, has recovered from it. Yeah, we still have telltale signs, but we still have uh, green um, green tissue. Still have good good leaves, sir, for still on our flags out here. And 1325 with the Bodgers last year was probably their best wheat they've had in a long time. Made 100, 110 bushel wheat to the acre. Uh, again, we're raising this for seed for us to sell to our seed consultants, customers, and that. Very good farmers, very good cooperators, and that. And they want to go ahead and make sure that they raise the best quality in the high shielding wheat to go ahead for their bottom line.